fat people to the fat foodie. Now, your beautiful wife went to that Starbucks, the uh, overpriced, posh, pretentious coffee shop, I call them. Yeah, where I think drinks are like five, six quid for a coffee. So, yeah, she picked me up, bless her. Toasty. Now, I absolutely love toasties, me. Five cheese toasty Starbucks. Now, I absolutely love toasties. I mean, yeah, Tesco do a good one. Uh, really don't like these. And, yeah, I've not reviewed it before. So, I thought I'd review this. Now, can you guess the price of this? This, this little, look at in my hand, look, <laughs> yes the price of that, £6.50, now £6.50 for a toaster, yeah, I hope this makes me shit gold trees for that price, because that is absolutely extortionate, but I'm not going to let that clouds my judgement, obviously it will reflect in pricing, Tesco's are half the price of that, and a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to review this overpriced potential toasty. I'm going to, well, I did whack the first one on this grill. But yeah, it didn't go too well. Not where you can see it, but I like cheese melted to it because I see got cheese on top. So I'm warming them up in the oven. <laughs> there was no eating instructions on it or anything, but Basically, it says low fat cheese, bechamel sauce, smoked cheddar, mozzarella, mature cheddar, avantal with American style mustard in a cheese stop Starbucks signature sourdough bread. Now, I like sourdough, but it can mess my tummy up a bit sometimes. <coughs> now, yeah, it's got all the usual baffle, what you'd expect in the ingredients list. I'll see if I can get it up there. Wrong way, I was wrong way. Put that way. So, yeah. There you go. Pause it now. Have a good look on there if you want. So, yeah. Let's get this in the oven. Let's see if it's a fat food in light or a bag of shite. A tummy tickler or an overpriced toasty trickler. Let's get it on. There we are, guys. £6.50 toast. <laughs> Toasty. Yeah, the world's gone mad. It does look fire. Let's give it a little. Boom, 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 boom. £6.50 for a toasty. I am backward if I pay this. So, as you see, Starbucks cheese toasty. <coughs> a whopping colossal £6.50 yeah don't look out special now it is on a sourdough bread but yeah let's get reps into this That sourdough just gives it that lovely crunch. Every sourdough I've ever had, I've toasted it, got a word pack on. Seems to be nice and crunchy. Don't get me wrong. Look at that cheese. Cheese oh, cheese oh. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a nice toasty. Well, it ain't six fifty nine. Yeah. Mm. Got nice flavours of cheese, not too strong. The best mouth sauce gives it a nice runny consistency. Mm. 
top of it's like cheese on toast. That's the difference between the normal toast and a posh toast. Mm. No. Would I pay six fifty for it again? No. Have I enjoyed it? Yes. It's lovely, it's runny, it's cheesy, it's crunchy on the bread, everything you'll want in a toasty. What? Price tag's ludicrous. I mean, when you can go to that place the other week I reviewed, the butty shop, and get a bacon butty and a posh drink, a mocha or a cappuccino, two quid. I mean, yeah, fair dues it is an offer, but 6.50 just for that. So if you go in Starbucks, you get your sauce, that you get a drink. You ain't getting much change out of 20 snacks, are you? No. Okay. Finished it. It was nice. It was bangy, crunchy, thick, rich, creamy, cheesy goodness. But the price, let's sit down. That should be three quid, three fifty tops. Oh, is that me being a tight bugger? Let me know in comments. I mean, Tesco do a belt, it's very similar to that, but not on the sourdough, it's on normal bread. I think it's only about two quid, something like that. 250, I'll check, maybe I'll get one of them in comparison or something, you know. Well, I know which one I prefer, the cheaper option. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, I mean, I would have given that a solid nine, nine and a half. But then with a the price, you know, it's knocking it down the point. So it's an eight and a half. Uh, do you think I'm being harsh doing that? I don't know, but yeah. I mean, today's cost of living crisis is 6 for a toasty. But then if you struggle, you're not going to go and pay that, are you? So if people are thick enough to pay it, they can charge what they want, can't they? I'm going to start a campaign. Stop fucking paying for overpriced toasties and drinks. I find a small independent retailer and go and support them instead of these corporate fat cats. Because I guarantee there'll be a butty shop nearby. What'll do you a nice cup of mocha and a cappuccino. I mean that coffee I tasted at that butty shop was two quid one for the bacon butty or sausage and the hot drink. The coffee, the mocha was delicious. But the actual coffee with milk, it was the best coffee I have ever had in my life. It was absolute fire. And that's just a little small butty shop, isn't it, you know? A bit high-end butty shop, but yeah, it's a butty shop overall. So yeah, check out other places, man. Boycott these greedy fat retailers who are just charging ludicrous prices. So quick people can walk about with a poncy cup going, ooh, look at me, I've been to Starbucks. But what they don't tell you, they take that cup home and they fill it at home and just trick you half a week. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, guys, it was banging. Oh, my wife uh, sampled a tuna and cheese melt from the overpriced pretentious coffee shop. What would you make of it, my dear? All right, but she won't have it again. She don't like tuna on a melt, it don't work. So your rating's going to be poor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had tuna melt at 6.90, I think that was. And yeah, she said it's poor, it, yeah, it don't work, tuna on a melt. So yeah, all in all, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe. Our channel grow. I'll try and bring more varied content to you guys from 50p tub of paste as you've seen on another video to £6.50 
overpriced toasty to a high end ready meal to a decent takeaway or butter shop. There's one coming out in the next few days. Um, I think I'm going to release that on a Sunday. Just studying through my analytics, seeing which day is the best day. Uh, because this, gate, this place has been in the game since 1967. So you do the maths on that one, that's a hell of a long time. And I, I've gone sampling on a recommendation. A hot roast beef and onion gravy muffin. But I already sampled this on many other occasions because it's local to me and it is banging. It is good. So yeah, uh, I'll give too much away and I'll sort of just get waffling, don't I? <laughs> but yeah, 57 years, uh, 57, 67, 1967 they open. So yeah, massive time, a massive time. So it's going to be a banger, trust me. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in another episode of Fat Foodie MCR. Peace.